What is going on you guys back with another episode so today I'm going to be building and pricing the brand new 911 Carrera so this is the 992 uh, this is replacing the 991.2 uh, which in my opinion was the best model 911 Carrera ever built but let's just get, get on into it and check out the specs and uh, design as well so obviously for new for 2019 is the front fascia and the rear end of the 911 as you guys can see Similar amount of uh, distinctive exterior features and interior features uh, of the new Cayenne models, of course. So, you know, nothing too crazy, but other than that, you know, you could still a distinctive Porsche 911 Carrera. But as you guys can see from the rear end, kind of got that um, Panamera vibe going on in the back and the quad exhaust at the rear. I believe these are 20 inch rims or 19, I'm not sure. But uh, the front fascia is a bit wider near the front area, giving it much more wider and more aggressive stance. Uh, the side profile remains the same as it seems. Uh, the interior, of course, has been upgraded. Let's check that out. Can't seem to find the interior image. Here's one. So as you guys can see right away, much larger screen. And a lot of criti criticism here on the uh, the gear lever here. Not too keen about that. But um, other than that, they kept the classic uh, th the dials here in the center of the uh, steering wheel. The nice uh, rev match or rev limiter here. And uh, seems quite nice, honestly. I think this is a lot better than the previous previous Carrera. And uh, much thicker seats, of course. Yeah, what do you, what do you guys think? Let me know in the uh, comment section below. What, do you guys prefer this uh, Carrera or the previous generations? Uh, I just don't like the front area where the hood has like a more boxy rectangle design. Uh, but the side profile on these Carreras are amazing, honestly. They always have been. So as you guys can see, I think they kept this a actual... Um, actual dial and these are these two le uh, left and right sides are uh, screens here so uh, that's a nice touch so yeah here we have the previous classic uh, Carrera next to the new one so the heritage of the 911 and here is the PDK slash uh, chrono pack Okay, let's get on into the uh, actual building and price, and let's actually configure one. So, build your Porsche. So, 911. So, the we have the Carrera 911S and the Carrera 4S. So, the price difference here between the two, obviously, being the all-wheel drive system. So in harsher uh, weather conditions, all-wheel drive would be the best, of course. Um, but if you want to have some fun and throw it around the corners, obviously the rear-wheel drive is the best option. But either or, you know, you can't go wrong with uh, either one. So let's just uh, build the 4S and see how much we could uh, maximize the price. Okay, so right off the bat, the S models, I believe, get a quad exhaust trim here. And a much uh, blacked out lower bumper here. Uh, okay, so let's just configure the paint color first. So with these, I want to go with the most maximum option and just literally configure it to the most highest price point that you could do it. Uh, see how well it looks and you know what options are available and whatnot. So let's go down to the special colors. But before we do that, the standard colors are obviously uh, for free, of course, free of charge. And then once you get into the uh, white metallic options, they range uh, into the 950 range. Um, but then once you go to the special color, of course, they go around to $3,730. Uh, so let's just go with uh, Miami blue here. Beautiful color here. Really stands out. Definitely will turn heads on this one, on this color. Okay, so let's go down to rims, wheels. So these were the 20 and 21 inch. So the fronts are 20 inch and the back rears are obviously 21 inch. So these range from 
1500 3000 so let's just click that one in my opinion i don't really prefer these ones but since for the point of the video we're trying to make the most expensive 911 uh, if i were to actually configure this i would go for probably these ones or these ones yeah most likely i'll probably go for these ones since they're the newer uh newer style of the 911 so let's just go with these ones for the sake of the video the most expensive one accessories so with the thing with 911s and porsche in general that you can configure mostly any aspect of the car you know from literally the emblem on the rim you can you could have the option to paint that in if you want to i believe that's uh 220 bucks just to get those colored in i think i'm not sure yeah that 220 bucks for that so I cancel that because it's already included with the rim so inset in black or yeah those look nice so that is a 1480 option um let's go down to interior so my personal preference i like red interiors honestly like i feel like it stands out a lot more but if I were to actually configure this, I'd make the exterior white and then the interior red. That would look really awesome. Uh, let's see, I think there's, oh yeah, there's even more expensive option. So the leather, leather interior, club leather. So you have a truffle brown, chalk stitching, a gave green, and uh, yeah, let's just click uh, truffle brown it is. Okay, so that is in the interior, truffle brown. Let's upgrade to the 14-way memory package power seats. So those are 2650 And we can also even go up to the Sport Plus, Sport Seat Plus, which is for another $4,000. So that removes the other previous option. So seats are $4,000. So already we're looking at $156,000 for this Carrera. So, and we, we still have a long way to go in terms of options. So, individual options in terms of packages. So, we have the premium package, um, which gets you sort of LED headlights with Porsche Dynamic Light Systems, uh, Bose surround sound system. So, we can boost that up to the Burmester high-end uh, surround sound system. And uh, lane departure key, lane, lane keep assist is obviously included in there. So, that is a $10,000 option. So, we'll accept that. And uh, Sport Package Plus, I think that eliminates the other one, or it's an additional option. So we'll accept that as well. So those are the two packages that are available for this. So let's click on Exterior. We have the Sport Design Package, uh, Porsche exclusive manufacturer. So that gives you es essentially a more uh, you know, finished front fascia and rear bumper with black design elements, which are finished in an uh, exterior color. And includes unique central air uh, outlets and repositioning of the license plates uh, at, the, at the rear and front and uh, so yeah more much aggressive uh, bumper design looks quite nice actually so we'll select that kind of expensive price point for that option but still we'll, we'll select it um, side skirts I think Oh yeah, right here. It gets a little bit um, a much longer and wider stance of the side skirts. Uh, Porsche logo in black, high gloss. $340. Uh, front fascia. Nope, don't want to minus that. So electric side tilt sunroof. That is a must. Uh, side window trims in silver. We'll go with that. Um, electric folding exterior mirrors. That should be standard to be honest with you guys like that that electric folding mirrors should be standard on all vehicles but obviously porsche wants you to configure every single option so protective film at the front can't go wrong with that it's a must don't know if it's um uh, from from that uh what's that 3m yeah i don't know if it's 3m uh paint, paint protection at the front but i'm assuming it is it's the best quality of protecting your paint from rock chips and stones and whatnot so, uh, and then we'll go to performance. So we'll pick the uh, dynamic chassis control support or sport, sorry. So that is a 3600 option, including 
the rear axle steering, so that is a total of $6,000 additional. Um, and then power steering plus, front axle lift system, so if you don't want to scrape the front, you know, you could have the option to lift and raise uh, the front, uh, front end of the vehicle. Because obviously this is a sports car. Well, yeah, it's a sports car. I wouldn't say it's a supercar, but it is a sports car in my opinion. And it is a the low the front end is very low, and you know you don't want to scrape scrape the bottom of it. Um, ceramic uh, Porsche uh, ceramic composite uh, brake system. So this is a ten thousand two hundred thirty dollar option. I know I think Benz charges thirteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. I'm not sure. I, I forgot w w which manufacturer, but some manufacturers cost you know fourteen thousand for this option. But so we'll click that. That's a that is a quite an expensive option for for a car, but it's there. So ten thousand dollars, and then uh, brake calipers in high gloss black minus nine thousand. So no, we don't want to do that. We'll just keep it the yellow because yellow lets you know, I guess. Or wait a minute, there is a option to black out the, the calipers and gloss black while still having the ceramic composite brakes so we'll go with that additional thousand dollars so now it's all blacked out and as you guys can see so far it's looking quite nice and look at the price point we literally jumped from 137 all the way to 207 before tax is canadian and yeah that is quite an expensive build for 911 yet alone this is the 4s and this is not even the turbo or gt3 so yeah, I kind of quite quite like it though. I kind of like it. So lights and vision. So I think we've already oh we got one more. So the LED matrix headlights, Porsche dynamic light system. So those are a two thousand dollar option. Let's check out the front of it. See what changed. So if I were to click click it off again. Okay. Yeah, I think I think that the noticeable here in the laser lights. Yeah, you get like a blacker outline here, so the rear uh, rear wiper here. I don't know. Some some people do not like this uh, wiper at the back, but I mean, if you live in countries where like the weather's really harsh or it rains a lot, it is kind of a must to have on the back. But I mean, you can have the option to get rid of it if you want. But for the sake of the video, let's just include it. So the comfort and assistance systems. Let's check it out. So we have a park assist with, for the front and rear surround sound or sorry surround view. Uh, and that is a $1,600 option. I mean, for a car like this, this should be standard, but of course, Porsche wants to maximize options and make every car unique and special to the owner. So night vision assist, link and change assist. Pretty sure most Hondas nowadays have all these options available, but of, of course, you know, that it's just the way car manufacturers, you know, work, work, work their options. Uh, interior, of course, will include the ambient lighting, the interior trim painted in exterior color. I'm not, I'm not I'm not a big fan of this. I don't know, it just looks really tacky and just like I don't know, like a third party accessory just tacked on the we'll click we'll click that. So a fire extinguisher of course if you're taking on the track. I mean I don't know if you would take this car on the track or not. Um but I mean I would definitely take out a GT three R S out on the track, but I don't I don't know if I would take a four S out on the track. But I mean the fire extinguisher is there for those you know, worst case scenarios, uh, sport chrono stop watch in, in white. I think that looks good. Matches the rev limiter here and uh, heated steering wheel. I'm just going to speed things up a bit here. Uh, so in red, we'll click that. And then we have, these are all the same, just different color. Vehicle key in blue and leather. And then when you come down to the carbon fiber, I think that gets more expensive. So the carbon fiber interior package is a 2400 option. And then we'll click that. The door sills and carbon fiber. This is a option that no one, not most people pick, but it, it is there to like, once you open your doors, you know, once you get in and out, you know, you could see that carbon fiber option. You know, it's not, it's not necess, it's not necess, it's not necessary, but you know, it's there if, you know, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a nice touch, I guess. There's not really a meaning to it doesn't really do anything but it's just there if, you know it looks nice um, and then in carbon fiber I guess so that is an additional 280 um, once you go to we've already got interior so audio and communications 
we click, we've already clicked the uh, Burmaster high-end surround sound audio system. That is a $4,500 option. Um, and then European delivery, you have the option if you want to, uh, you know, pick up your car in, uh, in Germany at the actual dealership. I mean, sorry, the the factory itself, and uh, pick up your car there and drive around in Germany for a little bit while, and then enjoy the car, see the car, and then fly back to wherever you live, and then have it delivered to you in North America or wherever you live. So that is an option that you can choose. That is free. Um, I'm, I'm, I think a lot of YouTubers do this, like Bill Virgins. They, you know, European delivery their their Mercedes or Porsche, of course. I think Tanner Fox did his uh, 911 uh, GT3 RS, and he European deliveried it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, uh, wheel accessories and uh, uh, tire care kits. So we have a option of 19 to 20 inch Carrera winter wheels and tire set. So that is a $5,500 option. So, I mean, these are all pretty similar in terms of functionality. So I won't click all of them because that would doesn't that wouldn't count in terms of an option. It's just if you want it or not. So that wouldn't count as an option for the vehicle. So we'll get a sleeve for it. Of course, a tire is a, it is a must. Snow chains and uh, interior floor mats. So the, so the transport and uh, protection. So there's the luggage compartment uh, liner, which is uh, 260 bucks, and then a leather luggage set. I don't know if this would count as a option for the vehicle, so I'm not gonna click that. But that is pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure you can get. Well, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go for that, honestly, personally. Uh, and then care accessories. Of, of, again, these are all like optional, like excluding from the vehicle, so I won't include that into the option list. Uh, so let is, let's view our summary. So as you guys can see, it is already $224,000 before taxes, and we initially started at $137,000. So let's just look at the interior first. So this is what we configured. Let me make this larger. So this is the truffle brown interior with the uh, red, uh, red seatbelt lining. And the exterior uh, rear diffuser and front bumper in this uh, sporty. Well, I don't know. I don't know what, what the actual def, uh, term 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 is, but it is this uh, blacked out uh, sport pack bumper design. And we've also got the uh, the uh, windshield wiper there, 20 to 21 inch uh, rims uh, with carbon ceramic brakes, and then also the upgraded uh, front fascia sport design. Uh, matrix uh, front lights here and of, of course uh, carbon fiber interior and we also have the 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 sunroof tilted uh, I forgot what the actual name was but it's a tilted sunroof it has like a classic Porsche design as it uh, you know closes in and opens out it's uh, unique for Porsche uh, and then we have the so let's just read more about the actual summary of what we've chose so here we can see the price for the equipment was $85,000. So that is a lot for options. You can legit buy a uh, used 2008 Audi R8 for probably $70,000. Or you could legit buy a used 9, 911 2013 for the price of $85,000 if you can. I think, yeah, secondhand you can find that. Um, but yeah, so we literally started at $137,000 and then added... 85,000 in options and then we're looking at $224,530. So what we essentially picked the Miami Blue which was 3700 and then a series of options here. So as you think as you can see with Porsches, you know, there's a lot to choose from, a lot to configure because the reason why Porsche does is, is that they want, you know, every Porsche to be different. So when you're shopping for a Porsche or you're looking second hand, uh, you know, every Porsche has its own different selected options and and whatnot. So it all it all essentially varies. So essentially, you you will not find the same Porsche on the road as the one that you have. Essentially, Porsche wants to be unique, and that's why they hold a lot of their value uh, and their you know the heritage of Porsche is is uh, as well. Um, so as we scroll down here, so two thirty one, I think that is after taxes. Yeah, so two thirty one after taxes Canadian for a Porsche nine eleven Carrera four S. So I don't know what do you guys think. Is that too much for for a Carrera 4S, or is that reasonable? I think, in my in my personal opinion, I think that's too much because right now, as as of right now, you can buy a 2016 or 2017 
uh, Turbo S for around 230 before taxes. So I mean, once you compare those two aspects, I mean, you could even buy a, you know uh, a GT3 for around like 220 or something like that, or even at the same price as this. Or you know, you could buy a, a Huracan for around 230 secondhand if you're lucky. Um, or even you know a, a Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh, you can find one on Auto Trader for 139,000 that has 60,000 kilometers and is in blue Cephas. So I don't know what do you guys think. Is this, is this too much? Is this too much for a, a Carrera 4S, or is it going to depreciate too much in 10 years? Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you guys did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys please make sure to subscribe and comment down below. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.